It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. Pleasure to be met. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Uh, we're here with Wesley Snipes right here, man, one of the stars in the new movie, Shy Rack. Uh, one of the major things about the movie is some of the controversy surrounding how Chicago is portrayed. You know what I mean? A lot of it has to do with the, the gang violence in the city, and people didn't want the movie to come off as if it's um, making a mockery or anything of that. Did you feel any of that pressure when you're taking on the role? No, not for me because, you know, I'm a New Yorker, so I didn't really have that direct connection. Okay. Uh, but, you know, that's a part of being an artist, and yeah, my, my overall opinion is that people are always going to find something to complain about. Okay. You know, it wakes them up in the morning. There's some people who will find something to complain about, even when things are going well. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so too much fun. Things are right. Not I'm, a problem at all for you. You know, uh... No, not personally, not right. a problem. The issue is a problem. Okay. The deaths are a problem. Okay. The crime and the violence is a problem, and that's a you know part of my con concern and why I um, chose to contribute my art in the, my little way. Yeah. To the project, but controversy. <laughs> Seen a lot of that. Been there before. <laughs> Ain't no biggie. Ain't no thing. Even what you say and what you said about you contrib contributing uh, what you bring to the movie. You have a long-standing relationship with Spike Lee, and the roles that you've played have always been meaningful characters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The meaning behind this character, uh, Cyclops, that represents the Trojans in the movie, when people watch it, what do you want them to take from that character? Hopefully, uh, the young dudes out there will see a character who's redeemable. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll see someone they can kind of relate to, and okay. his look, and his talk, and his swag, but then they can see that he comes to understanding, uh, he comes out of darkness into light, and maybe to be some inspiration you know, to those who are struggling with that choice. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, because we see a lot of it out here. I'm here in Chicago every day, and people are talking mm. about the movie. It's it's huge right now as far as the con conversation mm. about the movie. Mm. Um, once they see it, they're going to be very surprised. That's what I was going to say. Wonderfully surprised and uh, inspired at okay. the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it's so multi-layered. It's like a baklava. It's like layered, 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 and it's all sweetness in between. You know, a little bit <laughs> right. of this, a little bit of that, and a lot of this. Right. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, this is something for you. It's a piece of history. Don't miss it. Yeah, I hope so, because people were a lot of, uh, really upset about it. And the one thing that Spike kept saying was, wait till you see the movie and then have an opinion on it, and then we'll see where people stand. When this movie comes out for the public to see, and you hope that they take something positive away from this movie. We hope that it gets somewhere where it's going to fix some of the problems that we see out here in the community. Is that something that this movie can do? I hope that they take some of the negative, too, and be motivated to change that. You know, I hope that they come away from the movie pissed off mm. about the situation, about the, how the village is taking care of, our lack of t taking care of our, our children. Right. And then make some change as a result of that. Okay. You know, be mobilized in that way. Yeah. You know. No, is any, if you walk out of it just feeling good, then we failed. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. It's going to be a little mind candy and a little soul food, but uh, you got to, you, you got to, it's going to be a bitter pill too. So, right. Yeah. Right. That's Absolutely. good. We need that. I believe so. We need that. I believe so. Yeah. Let's talk about medicine. you personally, man. You're out here. You're back out on the scene for a while. Mm. Uh, there was a little bit of a hiatus. How are you doing personally? Like, as um, far as you being involved with the movie and just being back in the industry doing your I thing? I think I'm doing pretty good. Yeah. I feel good. And, you know, uh, my spirit is stronger every day. And uh, I'm doing the kind of things that I enjoy doing. We're producing film and television. I'm still doing film and television. So, and uh, wearing the hats of... Uh, husband, father, friend, and all of the above. And right. So far, so good. Yeah. So I like, far, so good. I like to see you out here working, man. You've given us so many classics over the years, man. Hopefully this movie, Chirac, will add to the long list of achievements that and you've given us. And Absolutely. And more to come. Appreciate your time, Mr. Peace Western to you. Snipes Peace to the us. family for the healing. <laughs> Peace. Two fingers. Thank you very much. Yeah. I appreciate it.